Hey everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm continuing our journey with Affinity Designer by diving into one of the most important features, layers. If you caught my previous video, you already know how to get started, and now it's time to take your skills to the next level. Let's get familiar with the layers panel first. I already showed how to set up the interface in my part 1 video. Go to the layer panel.at the bottom of the layers panel, you'll see options like add layer, add pixel layer, and delete. When you create something, it will appear in the layer here. You can also adjust the thumbnail size and more using the hamburger icon, feel free to check that out. You can rearrange the layers by simply clicking and dragging them up or down, or even insert them into another layer by placing them inside. There's also a button behind each layer to hide shapes you're working on, and a lock icon to prevent accidental edits. In the toolbar above, there are shortcuts to help you move layers up and down or to the top and bottom easily. You can also access layer properties by right-clicking. How to select layers in the layer panel press the control key or shift key to increase or decrease the selection. To group them, press control plus G. And once grouped, you can change colors, apply effects, and more. One of the best things about Affinity Designer is that it comes with built-in adjustment options, located at the bottom of the Layers panel. These include layer effects, warp groups, and mask layers. I previously created a video about effects and the warp group a while back. And I think I will update it in the future opportunities. In Pixel Persona, things operate similarly but we mostly work with raster images here. Notice as I'm using the brush tool, if I don't add a new pixel layer beforehand, the program automatically creates one for me. You'll also see a small brush icon in the layers showing the brush style I'm using. There are many great YouTube tutorials covering these tools in more detail, so feel free to check those out too. Layer Blend Mode is located here.
When we draw, we often use the flip function in the menu bar above here. The view mode is here. If you want the opacity layer, it is in the layer panel as well. Okay. Just a brief overview. Now, let's try drawing something. There's a Halloween festival related to a certain character coming up this month. So let's get ready for that. I've actually made a tutorial about this before. But let's review it quickly. Start by drawing the outline of a pumpkin head. Then, select it and click the insert inside the selection button at the top to draw within the pumpkin. Add the eyes and mouth, and make sure you arrange the layers properly. At first, this method might feel a bit tricky, but you can also just draw lines and color them like you normally would with vectors. The key is to draw shapes, insert them inside, and then move on to coloring. If you're interested in this drawing style, check out the Vector Pencil Tool video on my channel. Once the base colors are done, use the gradient tool to guide you shadows, then add shadows and highlights afterward. Combine all the small details in both designer and pixel persona, and you're done. Most of my videos are designed to make things easy to understand, even if I don't go into every little detail. But if you can apply what I show you to your own work, that's great. Some of you might ask if there's an easier or better way. And yes, there are plenty of other methods. I'm just showing you one way. Feel free to adapt it to your style.
I think we can all agree that using the right tools makes a big difference, so try different programs and see what works for you. You might find something new that you really enjoy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.